God builds his church with different stones. He makes each one belong. All shapes and sizes fit in place to make the structure strong. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of two foundation stones of the church. Apostles St. Jude and St. Simon the Zealot. A remarkable feature of today's reading is the sheer diversity that we find amongst the chosen ones of Christ. St. Matthew was a tax collector who filled the Roman coffers, but uh, St. Simon the Zealot, he stood for draining those coffers by rioting and looting. St. Thomas was a mason, while Nathaniel, who later became St. Bartholomew, he was a minister. St. Peter was a married man of advanced age, but St. John, he was an eligible bachelor. So the greatest message that the gospel has for us today is that Christ and Christian discipleship is about accepting everyone. The apostles were bound together as one in Christ to live side by side, overcoming all difficulties as one family. Pope Emeritus, Pope Benedict XVI, he tells us that this feast, it reminds us of the group of twelve who were the prefiguration of the church. Here there must be room for all charisms, all peoples and all races. My dear brothers and sisters, it is this aspect of brotherly love that we are lacking today. As Dominicans and as patrons of Dominican Initiative, I would like you all to remember the only religious man to win the Nobel Prize, Father Dominic Pierre, the great Belgian Dominican who won the Nobel Prize for being a kiss of peace for the refugees. Father Pierre, he was a man who built bridges in the post-war Europe. He practiced the inclusiveness that is preached in today's gospel. He uplifted the Austrian refugees. He made homes for the aged refugees. He built villages for displaced people. He crafted programs for uh, development of rural poor in all countries, including one in Tamil Nadu. In today's world, where Britain exits Europe due to refugees coming in, walling of Mexicans becomes a priority to the United States, where departing Rohingyas becomes a priority for India. What we need is this inclusiveness, is this brotherhood and unity in diversity that we see in today's gospel. And this is what the life of Dominique Pierre epitomizes. As we celebrate the feast of the zealous disciple, let us pray that we may be made zealous like this great Dominican for being a ray of hope in this antagonistic world. Let us pray to St. Jude, the patron of lost causes, to bind the war-ravaged world into the unity and brotherhood of the Apostles. <laughs>